Hey guys, Richard here. So welcome to how I made $1,000 in 48 hours. Now, this is part five of five, and this is my overall promotion review. And I'm gonna take you through the step-by-step -step process of this promotion, and then give you a few tips around the types of things that I think you need to incorporate into your own promotions, and maybe look at some of the mistakes that I made and how I think I could have improved, because I definitely could have improved this promotion, and I'm going to show you some of the things that I did in the next promotion, which is around about two months later, to kind of give me a little bit more success in that promotion and let it go a lot smoother. So guys, my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. If you haven't been over to the channel before, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and the notification bell, and I'll let you know whenever I produce new videos. And guys, if you're interested in learning how to build a business online, go ahead and check out my link in the description below over to a free resource that'll take you through the whole process step by step. So as I said, this is part five of this promotion. So if you stuck with me through the last four videos, thank you very much for doing that. Now, this is the promotion review. I'm going to take you through highlights of the first four videos and explain really where I think I might have made a few mistakes and the types of things that I put in place for the next review. So the first thing I really want to do is take you back through the funnel so you understand what this whole process looked like. So here I am over on the funnel. Now, this funnel is the exact funnel that I used to promote something called the Advanced Traffic Blueprint, which is where I made my commissions. Now, the Advanced Traffic Blueprint is a really, really good training course. I've been through it. This is how I built my business online. And it teaches you step by step, basically how to build a business from having absolutely nothing to having a working business. Really, really good coaching course, really great value. So I'm very confident that I'm actually promoting something that's worthwhile, right? So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and create some emails. And these emails, I showed you how I go about and write them and then how I actually automate them within my autoresponder. Next up is the landing pages that they get sent to from the emails. Now within those landing pages, there's a video and that video really explains all of the different aspects of the advanced traffic blueprint. Now it saves me writing really long emails Basically, I do all my talking within the actual video. Now, once we've actually sent people over to the registration page, they can then go ahead and register for the webinar. And if they none of these folks do actually answer, on the actual launch day, I send out a couple more emails, taking them straight to the registration page, and then they go ahead and register. Now, once the webinar's actually been played, you'll see a little box down here. This is the post-launch sequence where I actually send out reminders and tell them about the replay of the webinar. And to be honest, guys, that's very, very successful. I get more than half my sales after the webinar because lots of people are busy these days, so they can't actually attend webinars on the exact time and date because this isn't recorded. This is a live webinar. So a lot of people do actually go ahead and watch the replay and then decide for themselves on the replay. So this is the whole funnel. Now, I just want to show you something here just to show you that I ain't bullying you and I did actually make this money. And this is my pay kickstart account. Now, this is just one of my affiliate accounts. I've got the dates here for the 19th of July over to the 23rd of July. And you'll see here, these are the main commissions that I made. Now I made $500 on the night of the actual webinar. And then I made $500 two days later from the replay, which is where I said half the money actually comes from the replays, right? So I actually know these guys really well now because obviously they're in the same group as me and I've talked to them and you know they're really really happy the fact that they went ahead and purchased this which is really cool for me right so that's the kind of proof the social proof that I have actually made this money now I want to talk to you a little bit about the emails that I sent and go over where I think some of the mistakes I might have made were so here are my emails in the system now one kind of tip I did give you when I was talking about emails is the numbering system when you're doing any kind of emails that are gonna be in an automation. Now it's always good to number them. Um, let's say you're doing five emails, five bracket one, five bracket two, if you're gonna go ahead and send a replay. Now it gets very confusing if you're building your automations, which email is gonna go into what point in that email automation. So make sure when you're doing it, you always have a numbering system for yourself so you understand which email to actually send through. The other thing is I kind of started this sequence slightly late because at one point I wasn't even gonna send these emails out because I felt that the list I had 
wasn't really responsive at the time and a lot of people probably wouldn't be interested and it's not really true guys so if you have got any kind of list one thing I would advise is that you email them regularly which is still things something I need to learn now and once you do email them regularly you will find people on that list that are actually really interested in trying to build a business online right and once you do get connected with those folks they are going to come along and buy your products and services off you so again kind of taking action a lot of the stuff that you do online is mental you've got to make sure you're confident enough to actually take action if you start building up these types of lists so i'm going to show you just one of these emails one thing i do need to work on is the kind of titles of my emails i want to make sure that they're very very benefit driven titles and not too spammy so i do think in this campaign i could have improved the titles slightly but overall they're very very short and sweet this one kind of clicks straight over to the webinar itself it was sent on the day and i also mentioned a few bonuses there so don't write your emails too long especially if you're going to use this approach of a landing page make sure they're very short and sweet you got the information in there you need and then you direct them to either the offer itself or over to your landing page so here i am over on the automation now the way that this works is that basically this sends out emails over a period of five days before the actual webinar starts now on day one i would just send out a, an email and then from that email it would kick off the automation now what happens here is you see 511 people went through this automation they would wait for one day and then you would go ahead and send out the first promotional email then the system has a decision where if they actually open the email where 43 of them did they would wait for one day if they didn't it would get a reminder and then they would come and actually get a separate email which had a same information in but different title and then they would come back into this part of the automation so again the same thing happens on promotion two anybody who opens it goes down and waits one day anybody who doesn't gets a repeat email sent and you can see here that along each of these you got different numbers of people opening emails different number of people's not opening emails until finally they end up with this tag which is atb september promotion done and that was really the, the promotion it was just a repeat email sent again same subject just different title and you're trying to capture as many people's attention as possible because people are very very busy they're traveling to work they're looking after their kids they're getting emails all the time on their mobile phones so it's very very easy to kind of miss things and you want to get the best chance of actually catching their attention so this is another example of one of the emails i sent now one of the big mistakes i make on this email is the fact that i had two links right close to each other so it looked like a very spammy email now this one sends you directly to the actual webinar itself and this one was a link to my video now in the next campaign i actually changed that and only ever had one link in there per email so it looked less spammy so that was a mistake on my part and something you can probably um not do yourself you know and make sure that your emails look nice and they don't come across as kind of stuffing your links in there now the other thing if i just click on this i'm going to show you the landing page that this went to now the first thing you'll see on this landing page is that you can't really see a button as you come over to the landing page straight away if you come over on a desktop now in the last video i did go through this in a lot more detail but i did change this landing page in my latest promotion it was it actually converted a lot better now that's because you can't really see this kind of on this part of the screen now if you look at this latest one now you see that you can see all the information on the same screen now still a video still some verbiage at the top with a date and time but you can see the actual button here straight away so if people are impatient or people can't be bothered to watch the video they can straight away click here and come over to the actual workshop within seconds without actually worrying about anything else right and many not many people will watch the videos because they are very busy so you've got to make it as obvious as possible when you're doing this to get people over to the workshop now some folks will watch the video because it's got a lot of good information in there about what this product actually is right but if they don't they can come along and click this so guys thanks for watching that was kind of an overall view of what i did in this promotion now the aim of this case study was really to allow you to see exactly click by click how somebody puts together one of these types of promotions so that you can go ahead and do the same yourself right so all you need to do is go through these videos again um, kind of note down what i do and the types of tools i use i use get response for my autoresponder i use thrive architect 
for my page builder. There's very specific tools that I actually use. And then you can go ahead and replicate this and you'll have a lot of success if you follow this type of format. So guys, my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. If you are interested in learning how to build a business online, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I release new videos. And guys, if you want to pick up my free resource that'll show you how I started building my business online, go ahead and check out the link in the description below over to the School of Nomads, and we'll take you through the whole process step by step. Until next time, guys, take care.